How do you deal with heartbreak? Stay the hell away from your ex or unrequited love. You'll just prolong your suffering. I fix say, stop eating, stop working. Everything stops and I live in my head worrying and catastrophizing. It's awful. Don't do this. It's much better to work towards becoming strong and being the person you would want to be around. It helps to try and stop yourself from entertaining those maladaptive thought patterns and don't live in your head. What's done is done. Live in reality and don't stew in those emotions. Easier said than done I know. But try and look after yourself the way you would want to look after a good friend in the same situation. Short term, distraction. Long term, time. Throw yourself into something that you enjoy or that you want to do. Work, exercise, a hobby. Over time, the heartbreak gets better. You never get fully over it, but it gets much more bearable and becomes part of who you are. Like everyone else, refuse to admit it's over, resist, try to compromise, accept it and get really depressed, wander aimlessly, lethargic, still pretty depressed, accept the change and find the good sides about it and move on, unfortunately, you can't skip to the last step. This is somewhat of a vague question. But I'm curious to see what the good people of Reddit will say. My ex and I broke up back in September, and I still feel some of that heartbreak. Hopefully I can gain some inspiration from the community. Distraction 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 A year or two later you feel normal enough to casually reply on questions like how do you deal with heartbreak? Just understand that it's supposed to hurt like a bitch or first. Especially if you had strong feelings for the person involved. But with time the pain and her anger subsides. The memories fade. For me, the moment came when I realized that I actually forgot her birthday until a week later. Make sure you don't stay in contact though. Let's stay friends doesn't work in 99% of the cases. Focus on yourself and focus on those who love you. That's what got me through my first big breakup. It's what my brother told me to do. People say time, but that's only half of it. It's not enough to just sit there and wallow. I have a friend who got divorced after only a few months, and that was almost three years ago, and he's still not over it. For the first year or two it completely consumed him. Only when he started actually working on himself did he start to get better. He started dieting and exercising and furnishing his apartment and taking the occasional trip. Now we never hear about his ex. So yes, time heals wounds, but it's less a function of time elapsing, and more a function of you learning to move on and keep living your life. Look at a cut, time isn't what heals that cut, it's everything your body and immune system do to repair the damage and protect you from the wound festering. You need to take time to grieve for what you've lost, and then move on to building something new in your life. Step 1. Do not try to block out the pain or run from it, sit with it, feel it, console it. Step 2. Do not be hard on yourself. You need to be soft with yourself right now. Step 3. Do not try to cover up the pain. Look at it, talk to it if need be. Step 4. Make sure you cultivate healthy activities to set your mind on. Sorrow is like a wound. It needs to be well tended to in order to heal. If you try to stitch it up without cleaning the area, it will become infected. Don't be surprised if there is a scar left behind. Don't be afraid to feel sorrow. It comes with the territory of being human. Give yourself a couple days to grieve then distract yourself with work or hobbies and reach out to your friends and family for support. Don't romanticize your ex. You'll just convince yourself the breakup was a mistake and go running back. Except that although some parts were amazing not all relationships are meant to last forever. I like to reflect back after a breakup and identify the lessons I've learned. If you can take at least one good thing out of a failed relationship, then it's not longer a failed relationship. You meaning me, 
or you the general term, because me drank way too much alcohol and nearly died and then obsessively thought about what happened for three years. Sometimes I would have a really deep sleep and wake up without it on my mind and then slowly it would creep back in as I came round. Just work on you and loving yourself. If you look for external validation from someone else it's could never going to fill you. If had a messed up childhood, then you don't love yourself and feel good about yourself so a break confirms your worst fears. When someone breaks up with you don't take it personally. Maybe there are things you need to work on, but ultimate you are enough. You are worthy of love. Love yourself and love people who can accept it. When I was in college I once got over a heartbreak by writing a screenplay depicting a fictionalized version of the relationship. It still ended with the breakup, but in this version I got closure, and that helped me get closure in real life as well. It's a very up and down process. The hardest part is letting go when all I want is to be married to him and starting our lives together. But it's not mutual so I just dot 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 deal with the pain in a different way every day. Some days are better than others. The only thing that has helped me is by taking one day at a time. That's all we can do. 10 years together is a long time, it's only been a year, I just have to trust the process. I think people are right when they say it becomes part of you, but it won't be at the forefront of your mind forever. The only thing that has helped me is by taking one day at a time. That's all we can do. 10 years together is a long time, it's only been a year, I just have to trust the process. I think people are right when they say it becomes part of you, but it won't be at the forefront of your mind forever. I treat it as a yet another failure on my part and scold myself appropriately. I literally disappear, to the point where in the past my friends were convinced that I was kidnapped. Is it healthy? Number. Does it work? Debatable. Is it a bad habit? Yes. I went ballistic working out in the gym for a few years, then I enrolled and graduated from college, then to top it all off. I bought a really nice home just to prove to the world that I can make it all by myself. I personally don't think that I would have been able to achieve all of that without the drive from a bad breakup. Good luck to you and don't let the shitty times hold you down. Stay away from your ex. If you live together, move out. Accept and embrace every feeling you're going through. Be sad broken, angry or whatever. I would not recommend listening to your fave music of watch your fave movie. They will remind you of this breakup for years. People say that time heals everything, but that's not true. Time is a necessary part of the process, but you actually need to put some effort into it. As painful as it is, every loss is an opportunity to grow. Let it hurt. It will get better. Cry if you need it. You will feel better afterwards. Just don't hide from it. Don't try to ignore it. The hardest part is to find balance about not thinking about it too much, and paying attention about how you feel and why. Then, when you are done mourning, and this can take time, you will probably feel lost. You can start questioning what you want, what your needs are, what are you looking for in someone. And maybe the answers you had before aren't of much use now. Everyone heals at their own pace but getting stuck is a sign that something's wrong. It's okay if you take, say, two or three years, maybe even a bit more. But as someone mentioned earlier, 16 years waiting for a wound to heal itself is probably bad for yourself. If that happens to you I would recommend seeing a specialist. It's painful, but it's not necessarily bad. Think about what went wrong, try to find answers and try to not make the same mistakes, whatever they were. Focus on yourself, and try to find happiness. In the future you will look back and feel good, or proud, maybe both. Best of luck. Heartbreaks don't ever heal. Smells, sounds, music. Food. Some random strangers laugh. Even driving down a familiar street will bring all that stuff flooding back. The trick is focusing on the good, 
remembering and enjoying what was dot 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 and learning from the mistakes made on both sides of the court. The best you can do is keep them out of sight and don't be around people who know that person and who might bring them up in conversation. In my language we have an expression that goes what the eye does not see does not hurt the heart, doesn't sound as good in English. Besides that, there is nothing much you can do. If you go to school with that person, you are stuck and out of luck. Then you just have to keep going through hell until eventually you reach the end by falling out of love or falling in love with someone new. What I do know is that whoever invents a medicinal cure for love and heartbreak will be a hero to millions of people. I always like this take on the show Louis HTTPS colon slash slash dot b slash w k t b k actum. It's all about changing your perspective about it. Also try your best to keep going, to keep doing positive things. The worst thing you can do is crawl into a bottle as a coping mechanism. It won't solve anything. If they broke your heart they were never truly the right one for you. The right one doesn't break your heart. I'm not saying it's easy but attempt to quit living dreams that were never real and see the truth of that. Time. But don't spend that time lying in bed. I know it can be hard, but getting up every morning and just taking a shower will work wonders for you. Also make sure you're eating and drinking enough water. It's the other way around for me. Usually I'm the one breaking the girl's heart and most of the time the way they deal with it is cut me off completely with no chance of anything. And I'm always glad they did it cause it makes things complicated otherwise. Spend a lot of time with friends, good distraction, and take on as many healthy habits as possible to show myself I'm fine without them. Cut all contact and unflow on social media. It feels mean but it's super helpful for both parties. I find that distractions help the best, not the most productive thing. But last year one had a bad breakup and I bought myself a few new video games to take up my time and mental capacity. Worked pretty well. But also taking up a new hobby or spending more time with friends can help too. I basically become a mopey whiny emo bitch for a couple of months, just to let all the soft squishy feelings work their way out of my system. Then I shrug. Remind myself that I'm awesome and that one day the other person will regret not wanting to be with me, and find somebody new. Stop all contact with your ex. Get busy, find something constructive and immerse yourself in it. Working out, work, hobbies etc. Have solace, that time will cure all wounds. The advice I usually give, from experience, is give yourself time to grieve. What helped my case, is giving myself permission to grieve my breakup just for one day. Like really, be sad. It's okay, this way, you help yourself understand that it's over and that you have to move on. Don't be like me and hold back your feelings and keep yourself a feeling sad. Because I did that in the beginning and I just couldn't forget about my ex, because my brain thought that there was still hope, like, it was as if my brain was telling me, if you didn't get sad, there probably was no breakup lol. TBH, when I first thought about it, I felt like it was probably the stupidest idea ever. I mean, who likes getting sad? But when I actually decided it and got my time to grieve for a day, after some days the thought of her just became less and less. I realized that it was over and even if I think about her sometimes, you can't have your memory erased. Completely unfortunately, it's not a hurtful thought. You see, I'm a guy, so I was given a bottle by society, and taught that everything that isn't a happy feeling is meant to go inside, so I deal with a heartbreak by stuffing all my feelings. I become a ghost, not even happiness shows for a while. Then my clumsy ass drops the bottle on accident and I scream into a pillow and cry myself to sleep until I am given a new bottle, or glue the old one back together. Take time to heal, do stuff you find fun and relaxing, 
go out with friends and family, have blasts with them, learn those simple things you've always been curious to dive in but you never had the time or the will to finally dare to, train yourself, make new friends, visit places, last but not least stay away from alcohol and drugs. I became a bitter alcoholic and drank till I was drunk every day for 7 years, I have not stopped since and won't stop till I become dead, I am ultra functional meaning I am a great actor but one day soon I will die abruptly, I'm going with the portal artery of my liver rupturing catastrophically from my extremely scarred liver plus high blood pressure, I am unimaginably sad. Go to the gym, it releases endorphins first off, but also is a good place to take out your frustrations, and you're only bettering yourself in the long run, yep, it's only a distraction and the real way to deal with things is accepting your situation. A gym is still a good place to have that conversation with yourself. A couple of days of sad songs and chocolate, depending on how bad it was, but a limited time after which sad songs slash movies slash thoughts are forbidden, getting into a new hobby, new book, series really helps with the second phase, especially if it is positive or brings some value, like starting a new sport. For things like this, time is one of the greatest medicines, mix that with hanging out with your friends and you will start to slowly forget about that someone. This worked for me a couple times so I hope this helps. Removed any traces of social media contracts, deleting phone number, and keep me occupied with work slash hobbies slash friends most of the week, there could go weeks now, before my mind pricks up some old memories. You rarely get such a huge emotional shock, so might as well use it to grow and become better. Take a second degree. Take a new job in a new country, join the locale disc golf club. I recently broke up with my boyfriend of almost 5 years because we had different long term goals that just wouldn't match up with what the other person had. This is tough because I still want to be with him, but for me to do what I want to do and for him to do what he wants to do, it wouldn't work. I almost wish he cheated on me or something so I at least had a reason to hate him. I've thrown myself into my work, started going on walks more often, and decided to move to a new city. Long story short, I feel that distraction is key. I can tell you what not to do. Do not rely on alcohol to cover up your feelings. Do not think there is no one out there for me. Think only positive thoughts. Take care of your body, get exercise and eat healthy, spend lots of time with family and friends, pursue a new hobby, be the best person you can be and someday soon you will find a new love. My ex broke up with me two and a bit weeks ago, so I'm still in the throes of it a bit but I've been trying to focus on the people who love me, be endlessly thankful for them. Focus on my job and schoolwork, and think to myself about all the exciting things I haven't yet gotten to experience in my life. Dating wise or not, lately I've been thinking to myself about how breakups aren't inherently sad. This is just my personal opinion but while they do make you really really sad, they aren't overall a bad thing which ties back into how there's so much more to experience. I've been trying to remind myself this isn't the end of the world. I have lots of great things going on, and I'm going to create even more great things. My ex broke up with me two and a bit weeks ago, so I'm still in the throes of it a bit but I've been trying to focus on the people who love me, be endlessly thankful for them. Focus on my job and schoolwork, and think to myself about all the exciting things I haven't yet gotten to experience in my life. Dating wise or not, lately I've been thinking to myself about how breakups aren't inherently sad, this is just my personal opinion but while they do make you really really sad, they aren't overall a bad thing which ties back into how there's so much more to experience. I've been trying to remind myself this isn't the end of the world. I have lots of great things going on, and I'm going to create even more great things. 
I threw myself into hobbies and upped my social life. I stayed away from dating until I felt I had healed enough, about a year, and focused on improving myself and being a good mother. It took about four months to even begin to feel better. I also let myself feel it. When the lights were out and my daughter was asleep I cried, ugly cried. Just let all those feelings pour out of me privately and then washed my face, turned on a movie and let it go.